This is where I always go to, which is the um, uh, Vista Hermosa Park in downtown. It's very close to my home. And I went there because I needed to get my head out. I know that leaving the house and going to places is very privileged nowadays during this time. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Also, it's very hard to record something while, <laughs> while I was painting with gouache. But it was so nice to be outside with the sun and practicing with my new gouache. Um, well, only a couple of the tubes, but I liked it. I liked them a lot because um, they don't dry. <laughs> and this is what I ended up painting. Um, so I went back home and I decided to keep painting with gouache. I was stuck a little bit in this sort of loop uh not being really inspired so i went to my neighbor's yard i actually sneaked in <laughs> it was raining a lot but the roses were beautiful so um, i decided that i wanted to paint them and um i did not succeed um because i did not concentrate at all my mind was in other places and I just wasn't focused you will see oh my gosh this video is going to be a little bit of a roller coaster but I wanted to show you I guess um, my process and everything that I go through <laughs> when I'm painting because it's not always oh I painted something and it looks amazing and it was beautiful so um, I decided to paint them again the same roses um, with oils and on one of my wooden panels that I love to paint on.
is coming to pick up the check. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's gonna text me. I know it. God damn it. It was indeed my landlord and he just got the check. And in this meantime, <laughs> gotta take off my glasses. I was just talking to my sister. I miss her so much. <laughs> okay. I was just uh, watching my vlog and I think it's a little bit over the place and it's because I've been all over the place in the past month in February. I know that February it's always very because you get the high of the beginning of the year. Anyway, so I'm just not trying to get back on track <laughs> on everything, on painting and updating my store which I haven't been able to because my um, printer is not working and so I'm like, oh no. Oh, mother. Oh, sleepy. Yeah. I just did it with gouache and then I I painted it with a little bit of the what's it called those markers and I really really want to explore nature and paint it. Um, I'm reading this book. This book that is the letters of Vincent Van Gogh. Honestly, Van Gogh is not even my favorite artist. I mean he's wonderful of course, but it's so interesting to read the letters of someone, uh, you know, back in the day in the 1800s. Um, the view on art and the life and I love 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 the way they they write the way they used to write um, He's mostly talking to his brother Theo Dear Theo, I on um, October 31st 1876 It was a bright autumn day and a beautiful walk from here to Richmond along the uh, Thames in which were mirrored the tall chestnut trees with their burden of yellow leaves and the bright blue sky. And through the tops of those trees, the part of Richmond that lies on the hill, the houses with their red roofs and uncurtained windows, and green gardens and the grey spire above them, and below the great grey bridge, with the tall poplars on either side over which over which the people could be seen going by a small by a small black figures. I just think it's so beautiful. I don't know. He was just describing to his brother the walk to his home and I thought, I don't know, I like it a lot. I haven't finished them, of course, there's a lot of letters, but I've been really, really enjoying it. So.
that last painting was very very hard <laughs> to paint but it was such a good practice honestly um i rarely do that and i think i should do it more often just uh copy other old masters work because you learn so so much um but i always think that it's very strange because you're basically copying something that is already um sort of thought of like something that is already chewed if that makes any sense rather than copying from reality but anyways um now <laughs> i'm just uh making my favorite my favorite vegan meal at the moment as you guys know i'm trying to be fully vegan i still eat some tuna sometimes and some eggs but most of the time i have well i haven't eaten meat in a long time and i feel so so much better but anyways here it is it's very easy and it's so yummy and oh my god i love it it's so healthy um but then these days i was just uh, with my friend lady i'm going back to the art store as usual friend Lady and I were lucky enough to be able to do a mini mini road trip of it was like a day and a half only um, but we went to San Luis Obispo and then on the way we stopped in Solvang which is a very small Danish town but it was so so beautiful um, I had no idea that this existed in California <laughs> but it was so authentic and wonderful and we had such a good time just to leave the city for a little bit it was uh, a blessing, really. on the way back we stopped in Morro Bay um, I wanted to paint a little bit but it was way way too windy and we were actually freezing <laughs> but it was so lovely and I've been here before a few years ago it was nice to be back and uh, it was just so lovely very very beautiful but this is the end of the vlog from February and a little bit of March I hope you enjoyed um, I know it wasn't fully painting, but I still hope that you liked it, uh, and I'll see you very, very soon. I love you very much, and have a wonderful rest of the day.